how's it going? Today we're going to look at some of the main themes that are featured in Rattlesnake Shake by Fleetwood Mac. Okay, so let's take a look at the first verse riff. So what you need to do is put your first finger on the low E string on the 5th fret and your little finger on the D string on the 7th fret and you're playing the lowest 3 strings. Getting this A note to ring through. Then we're going to move that shape down to the 3rd fret with the same space in. Just before we move, we're going to play an open E string, so... So then you end up with... And you can get this A note to ring through the whole thing. Then the next part of the verse riff moves the whole shape up so it starts on the A string. And we've got your first finger on the A string on the 5th fret and your little finger on the 7th fret on the G string. And you ring it, just play in the A string, the D string and the G string. Using the same pattern as we were doing before. So open A string, move it down to the 3rd fret, back up. Okay, and then you've got this fill. So keep the space in the same when you move it around, but move this finger from fifth fret to the seventh fret, back to the fifth fret, then third fret, fifth fret, third fret. So what you end up with is, and then you just attach that to the other riff. So. Okay, then after the verse, we've got this big A riff. So, what you can do is fret the D string on the 7th fret and just play the A string and the D string. Then, we're going to play the G string and the B string on the 5th fret. And then, the G string and the B string on the 7th fret. So, you end up with. Vibrato where it's needed. Okay, so here's lead lick one. What you're doing is you're playing an open A string and then you're fretting the G string at the fifth fret with a lot of vibrato. We're going to do a hammer on from the fifth fret on the A string to the seventh fret and fret the D string on the fifth fret, and then fret the A string on the seventh fret and slide it down to the third fret and do a pull off, and then the low E string on the third fret to the fifth fret. So slowly it's Okay, so the second lead lick is this one. So what you get with this on all the different versions I've heard of it is they keep the first part of the lick the same and then the fill is different. So this first part stays the same and then you get your fill. Then it's back to the other bit that stays the same. So here's the first part of the lick that stays the same. So you're going to fret the G string on the 9th fret and the B string on the 8th fret. Just play those two strings together. And then go to the 7th fret on the G string, 7th fret on the B string. Play that twice. Move that shape down to the 5th fret. So you end up as. And 
the second part of this look bit that stays the same make the same shape you started off with so the G string on the ninth fret and the B string on the 8th fret and slide it up this finger up to the 11th and then we drop into the 5th fret on the B string and the G string and it with And then you've got the fills that come in between those licks. So. so you've got the D string on the 7th fret going down to the 5th fret on the D string. And the A string on the 7th fret. And then the A string on the 6th fret. And a hammer on from the D string from the 5th fret to the 7th. for the second part is D string on the 7th fret and the 5th fret and the A string on the 7th fret and a hammer on from the D string on the 5th fret to the 7th I've been listening to the Boston live recording and at the end of the route snake shake song the band go into a big jam most of it's based around the A blues scale sort of positions so you want to get sort of familiar with that listen to the recordings and try and find your way around the lid the band then go into I think it's searching for Madge and fighting for Madge but you're just going to need to listen to it try and play along with it and start to get the feel for it